It is an art which involved, in a sense, the whole society in various ways, folk art in terms of pottery, high intellectual art in terms of painting, religious art in terms of sculpture and images. It's an art which also did not recognize those uh, sometimes very artificial distinctions between fine art and applied art. And this idea that everything that is made should be good, should show the hand of man working at his best, should have honesty and dignity and cleanness of workmanship and so on. All this uh, applied to all facets of art, whether it's the lowest T-bowl or a box for storing clothing, up to a great religious icon or a painting uh, uh, made to illustrate a poem by one of the great poets. But the whole fabric of the things used by men in Oriental society, or in, until recently in Japan, uh, has this quality of art and skill and craftsmanship. So that uh, in looking at these things, we see a much more, I would say, from an anthropological or sociological sense, a much more unified field of art within society. And this is something that is very interesting, I think, to people today.